Hi, YouTubers and watch haters everywhere. It's BarbaraGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another Monday morning mailbag. Get yourself a cup of coffee, kick back, relax. Let's talk a little what shaving and a few other things. What do you got this morning? Hang on, hang on. Yeah, that is good. That is a great cup of coffee. I've got uh, Tim Hortons French vanilla. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Some really nice response from my Canadian viewers when I uh, debuted this coffee, and I got some really, I just really, really great, friendly comments from uh, all my friends up north. So thanks very much. Yeah, and Tim Hortons, great, great cup of coffee. This is the French vanilla ground coffee. Love this. Love the aroma. Love the taste of it. Really, really good. And uh, I've got it in my uh, Ohio mug again because uh, it's summertime. Summer has started in Ohio. Uh, you know, it's got that great summer feeling. Now, no offense to anybody else around, around the country or anywhere else in the world, but uh, somebody once said that there's something about summer in Ohio that feels just right. And I have to agree to a certain extent. I really do. I do agree beyond a certain extent. I agree with that wholeheartedly. <laughs> there is something just right about summer in Ohio. It just feels like summer. But uh, yeah, so summer's begun. It's nice and warm. Got some coffee. Boy, I got some great mailbag questions here. And you know what? Let's get right to them. Hang on. Boy, I hope you're enjoying a cup of coffee this morning as well because, boy, that is good. All right, uh, this first question comes from Glenn Sherman. Hi, Mark. I would really love your opinion on this. I always do a face lather and load my brush directly from the puck, as do I. I always load. Uh, well, you've seen my videos when I do a face lather. I'm always loading right from the puck. I have been hearing some people say that it's not good for the longevity of the soap to do this. They say that the water gets under the puck and can cause mold. They also say that leaving the soap open to dry can introduce bacteria to the soap. What do you think? Have you ever had any problems with the longevity of your soap? I don't even own a shave bowl yet. Many thanks, Glenn. Well, Glenn, uh, my experience has been I have yet to have any mold on any of the soaps I've used. Uh, and I've had some cakes of soap that go back probably Gee whiz, since I came back to the traditional wet shave, which was, what, 2016? So all my soap seems to be pretty good. Uh, I would say the only thing that has happened to any of my shave soap is I've got one where the scent has really diminished quite a bit. But other than that, uh, all my soaps work really, really well. Now, my thinking is, is that when you have a, uh, a shave soap, uh, that, uh, well, this is what I do. Okay, this is what I do. When after after I load the uh, the puck uh, and have my shave, I leave this open to dry. Sometimes the entire day. When I come home from work, then I'll cap it off and I'll pull it, put it in a cool, dry place to store. And I'll cap it pretty good, but I will never, 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 never cap it while it's still damp. Perhaps that's what causes a mold. That's the only thing I can think of. But um, I, I let mine air dry. I, uh, I cap them up tightly after they are good and dry. And uh, I haven't had any problem with, uh, with mold at all, at all. I haven't heard of this bacteria problem that you mentioned. That's a new one on me. Um, it's soap. I don't know how bacteria can get in soap, but maybe there's someone in the audience who's more of a chemist who could explain that to us. Um, as long as we're talking about soap, this leads me to Mitchell's wool fat because a lot of viewers have been uh, posting comments on various videos on my channel regarding the difficulty in lathering Mitchell's wool fat. Now, I'm going to link to Mantic 59's uh, seven tips on how to lather uh, Mitchell's wool fat. He really has a very good video on this, and some of these tips are things that I have incorporated and have just learned on my own as I've gone along. Um, but in one of those tips, he suggests taking the entire dish right here and putting it, submerging it in warm water in the sink, submerging the whole cup, the whole container in warm water in the sink. And uh, take your shower, come back out, take it off, dump it out, and then uh, load with a, a little drier than usual brush 
uh, and then that should help build a lather uh, a little bit better. But uh, after you do that, and I've done that, I've used it, I've submerged the entire thing in, in warm water. Afterwards, I just let it dry out. And then when it's good and dry, I put the cap on. I've never had a problem. This is my second puck of, of Mitchell's wool fat. I've never had a mold kind of problem. Now, that's not to say that it's not going to happen. If it does happen, the thing I'm going to do is just pitch it. And it gives me an excuse to buy, <laughs> uh, you know, a new puck of soap. But uh, I haven't had that problem yet. Uh, you know what? Knock wood, one, two, three, one, two, three. But, um, you know, I, I let all my soaps air dry completely. And if that means during the day and capping them or putting the lid back on when I come home from work and putting them aside and then using another soap the next day, so be it. If I'm going to use it the next day, I might not even put the lid back on. I'll just let it sit there and then the next day just you know, reintroduce some water to it uh, the next morning while I take my shower, come back out, load it right there from uh, with my brush right from the puck. Haven't had a problem. But, you know, if you do see something like that, um, the, you know, on your soap, uh, you know, I wouldn't hesitate to, to pitch it and get something else new. I, I know that there are some guys out there who treat it like cheese. Well, I get a little mold there, just scrape it off, and then you can use, well, you know what? It, once I see mold on it, I'm I'm pitching the whole thing. But I but I have not that has not happened to me at all. I just let the uh, the puck completely air dry, and after it's air dried for a good number of hours, then I put the lid back on. So that's kind of the way I'm doing it. So I hope that helps. And as far as the longevity of the soap, I think that depends on how the soap is made. Now, if you get a crope or a softer soap like a Parasso, you know, it's softer. You're gonna burn through this quite a bit. If you get something like, uh, you know, Mitchell's Wool Fat, which is, I believe this is triple milt, uh, it's gonna take a long time to get through this. Uh, and a lot of the soaps I have that are triple milled, uh, really, uh, they're still going strong. I mean, it takes forever to get through those soaps. And it's a really, really, really hard soap. So uh, I think it just depends on the hardness and the softness of the soap in my opinion. But um, then again, it also depends on how well that soap loads onto the brush. Some guys, especially with Mitchell's wool fat, what they'll do is they'll load the uh, soap upside down like this, and it loads into the bristles of the brush much more quickly, and that could help uh, the longevity of the soap that way. You know, fewer swirls, but you still get a good brush load, that sort of thing. Uh, that's that's what I'm thinking. But anyhow, that's kind of my take on it. Never had any mold. Uh, have had a soap that has lost some scent. And, um, you know, soap, the triple milled soaps seem to last a good long time, whereas some of the other softer soaps I really burn through uh, a little more quickly. That's just, that's just kind of how I see it. But uh, you know what? Folks, comment below, let me know. Let me know if you've ever had mold on your soap or any other kind of uh, mishap with it uh, from uh, putting a lid on or letting it air dry, that sort of thing. So thanks very much for that, Glenn. I really do appreciate that. Uh, this next question comes from Alex Armstrong. Hey, Mark, I've been wet shaving for a while now, and I've tried many products, Grasso, Arco, Derby, etc., I've been wanting to try a USA Artisan Soap for quite some time. So far, my options are Soap Commander and Sterling. They seem to have good products. What is your experience on USA-made products? Any scent recommendations would be appreciated also. Thank you, Alex Armstrong. Alex, great question. My viewers were screaming at me, Sterling, 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 Sterling. Now, I was a guy who said, uh, you know, Tabak, 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 Tabak. I, you know, love Tabak. I love this. I bought the, I, I've got a lot of Tabak uh, sitting around. I've got some more refills and I've got some more of these bowls and I've got Tabak in a shave stick. I like Tabak a lot. And they were telling me Sterling, 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 Sterling. And you know what? I went and got some and these are great. Uh, these are all tallow-based soaps. And the barbershop is wonderful. It has a nice, warm, friendly barbershop kind of scent. Um, really, really beautiful. You can, you can really use this year-round, although I think in the cooler months, it really is a treat. Uh, 
for this one. Uh, I love uh, Mountain Man. It's got that Creed kind of vibe going for it. Very fresh, very vibrant. Love this scent a lot. I also bought the Balm and the Aftershave in this scent. Terrific, terrific. Another one that I really, really like is Sharp Dressed Man. Again, it's similar to Mountain Man, but it's got a real sophistication to it. I like this a lot. Uh, there are others I'd like to try. I mean, viewers are always telling me uh, the different orange scents that are out there, the or orange chills and uh, I mean, the, the, the menthols. And I mean, there's just so much out there. Executive Man is a really good one from what, I, from what my viewers have been saying. But yeah, these three have really, really been terrific. I like them a lot. Uh, as far as Soap Commander, I've tried Courage and Honor. Those are very, very good. I like those a lot. Uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, boy, they have some great, great shaving soaps. Um, Future Fiction was the first one that I tried in their Formula CK6. And boy, I love this scent. Perfect for the summertime. You've got to try this. They also make it in a regular formula. Um, either one is going to be great. The scent is identical in each of those. But boy, this is really fantastic. I love this. Perfect for the summer. Um, Astro Traveler, this is really nice. More, this is something more towards the fall, though. Really, really, I mean, you can use it year-round if you want to. And now, it, you know, they say, don't say pumpkin spice, but yeah, pumpkin spice. I mean, <laughs> that's the way it comes across to me, but it's very fresh. I like this one a lot. The uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, or Phoenix Shaving Soaps, are non-tallow soaps. They're vegan soaps. Um, this one was amazing. High Jump 47. Boy, this has got a fresh, sophisticated, really polished scent to it. I like this one a lot. Oh yeah, this is, this says gentleman, this says sophistication, this says learned, this says, uh, oh, just all, oh, just, you know, polished, finished. Oh, this is really, really terrific. And uh, like this a lot, uh, just that one's terrific. And of course they did a, uh, an homage to Clubman, Pinot. This is their club guy. Uh, some say it's better than the original Clubman Pinot. Um, you know what? It's fantastic. It really is. It's, it's a terrific scent. It's right there in the ballpark. And I, I have to admit that, yeah, I think this is even better than Clubman Pinot. Really, really very good. So again, all their soaps are, are um, vegan soaps. Uh, this one came from the Midwest... Um, this was the Midwestern Wet Shavers Group, uh, Midwest Morning Hunt from uh, Uncle John Soaps. This was terrific. Really nice, really fresh, uh, woodsy morning kind of a scent, campfires, early morning. Yeah, this was really, really nice. And it made a great lather. And I've, I've kind of discovered that you don't really want to have that wet of a brush when you start making this lather. You went through your brush to be a little bit on the drier side. A lot like Mitchell's Wool Fat, but this is this really was easy to lather. Uh, but yeah, I like this one a lot. This was nice. I'm gonna I'd like to I'd like to explore Uncle John's soaps a little more too. That's another artisan soap maker here in the United States you might want to consider. Another one that I found uh, via Facebook was um, Olive Blossom Soap Company out of Chillicothe, Ohio. Uh, Maggie owns this company. I don't know her last name, but boy, this is a great barbershop scent. Really nice and fresh. This is a tallow-based soap, as is, uh, I believe, Midwest Morning Hunt. This is tallow-based soap, too, I believe. Coconut oil and tallow, just so you know. This is tallow-based. Uh, this is terrific. It's, it's tallow and shea formula right there. And it is got a nice, fresh scent. Uh, also has... Uh, she also has this Silver Mountain, again, that, uh, that Silver Creed kind of a vibe. Boy, that's nice and fresh. Kind of along the lines of the Mountain Man. Boy, just terrific. I like this one a lot. And I, I try, I've tried both of those, both very good. I've done one on camera, which is the barbershop. I'm going to do this Silver Mountain on camera as well because it's terrific. I have yet to use this one. This is Tallow and Shea Formula Cranberry and Citrus Peel. The label got a little wet there and smudged, but... Cranberry and citrus peel, really nice. 
Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's that definitely got a cranberry, cherry, lime kind of a vibe going. Like this a lot. I mean, again, tallow and shea formula. Boy, there's there's a lot there. Any of those will uh, fit the bill. Really, really very, very good. I, I like them a lot. I've only tried two from Soap Commander, which are the uh, Honor and the Courage. Those are very, very good. Hang on, let me, hang on. Let me get those for you. Hang on one minute. Yeah, I might as well show you these. Uh, I forgot to bring these out when I was setting this up. Uh, yeah, I like the containers. The containers are really kind of different in that, uh, you know, they're a little deeper and, uh, you know, you're not going to get a lot of overflow. I mean, this container is very, very different from, say, the containers you get from Sterling. Uh, this soap commander is vegan-based, so it's not a towel-based soap, and it's a great fresh scent. The Honor is really a nice, nice, nice scent. Uh, yeah, so Honor and Courage. Boy, these are terrific, two terrific, terrific scents. You might want to give them a look also. And again, like I say, containers are really kind of different. I like them. Um, I like them a lot. It's kind of a different change from the flat, wider containers that you see a lot of artisan soap, our artisan soap makers use. And all these are in the $12 to $15 range, with the exception of the CK6, which is probably another $10 bucks more, so about $24 for a formula CK6. But all the um, other soaps, including the Kokum Butter or the original recipe soaps from uh, Phoenix Shaving, are all about... 12 to 14, 15 bucks, something like that. So yeah, they're all very good. So you know what? I hope that gives you kind of an overview of some of the artisan soaps that I've tried. And I like them. I like all of these a lot. They're very, very good. So thanks for that question. I hope that helps you, Alex. Okay, this next question comes from Greg Dubos. I hope I pronounced your name correctly, Greg. D-U-B-O-S, Dubos. I hope that's right. Dear Mark, you mentioned Lord Platinum Blades as being very smooth in a recent video. What are other blades you find smooth? Comfort is my main priority. Thanks, Greg D. Greg, there are a lot of nice, smooth blades out there. I have found in my personal experience, anything that has a platinum tungsten chromium coating or any combination thereof on the blade really smooths it out for me. So a lot of those uh, blades would be uh, the Astra Greens. Those are really nice and smooth. I like the Derby I like the Derby Premium Blades. Those have a, a tungsten chromium platinum kind of coating on them. Uh, I also like the Persona Double Edge Blades, the ones that are made in Israel, the blue Persona DE Blades. Those have, I guess, like a Teflon platinum coating on them, I believe. Those are really nice. I like those a lot. Um, uh, let's see, Treat Platinum are really nice. I bought like 300 of those because I got a deal on them. I like those a lot. They're nice. They're not as quite as good as Astra, uh, and I was surprised they're not quite as good as these Lord Blades. These Lord Blades are really good. You can get 100 of them for like 7 bucks. Snap those up. I'll have a link below because those are really nice. Those are surprisingly good. Um, I like the Vikings Blade Mild Blades. Those are really nice. They also make a Cayenne Hot, which is a little more aggressive. Uh, the Mild Vikings Blade Razor Blades really aren't for people who have coarse hair. If your hair is coarse, try the uh, Cayenne Hot. Uh, Supermax Blue Diamond Platinum Blades are wonderful. Those are absolutely wonderful. I, I love those a lot. Those are just a few of the blades that... I've tried, there are more, they're gonna to come to mind. Uh, Parker, uh, a viewer, Tim Whitcup, sent me some Parker Premium Platinum Blades. Boy, those were nice. I just did a recent review on that, on that blade. I put it in a Parker uh, Variant Adjustable Razor. Oh, that was such a smooth shave. Loved it, loved it, absolutely loved it. Try the Parkers, the Parkers are really, really very, very good. There are others that I can't think of off the top of my head. Uh, but uh, those are just some, and I'm sure that the viewers out there, you know what, comment below, list some of your favorites also. Help out um, uh, Greg here with, uh, with, with picking a blade. And also, Greg, what you can also do is get a blade sampler. You can get to go up to Amazon or any of the other online sellers that, that, that sell sam uh, blade samplers and get, you know, a package of uh, 12, 24, what are, whatever they have, and uh, you can try some different blades and figure out which ones are 
you know, which ones work for you. But those are some of the blades that I, that I like that, um, that, that work for me that are smooth. And I have found that anything that has a platinum or tungsten chromium coating, they seem to be uh, give me very, very smooth performance. So I hope that helps. Thanks very much for the question. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Johnny Mikes wrote and said, uh, Mark, what's your take on badger brushes? I have the Simpsons Chubby 2 Best Badger Brush, but find a hard time lathering as it's very rough on the skin. It seems to be very dry and not producing the lather I want. Any tips? Well, I only use uh, badger brushes um, for shaving creams. That's all I do. I, I don't use them with shaving soaps. I don't find them. My personal experience is they're not that great. My experience, they're not that great in building a, a lather, especially doing a face lather, something like that. Uh, it could just be my technique. I don't know. I just haven't found badger brushes to be good with shaving soap. Now with shaving creams, they're great. They whip up a nice lather uh, for shaving creams. And um, I have the Vikings Blade uh, badger brush here. This is, uh, what is this again? This is the Dark Stallion. Yeah, Dark Stallion. Uh, the name is worn off. You can see I've been using it with some shaving creams. And I also have the uh, Art of Shaving Pure Badger brush. Both of these are, uh, are really very nice. And again, I'll use these with uh, shaving creams. Why shaving creams? Because after you whip up a shaving cream, uh, you tend to paint it on rather than swirl and build a lather. You've already built a lather in the bowl, so now you're painting it on your face. And uh, really, that's where the softness comes in. Uh, I find that if I'm doing a little bit of face lathering, yeah, it has a little bit of tooth to it. Um, but uh, getting away from using badger brushes. And I think a lot of sellers and manufacturers are getting away from badger brushes as well because of you know, animal cruelty issues. However, uh, the other thing that's come on the scene are synthetic brushes and synthetic brushes are fabulous. They are getting incredibly soft with wonderful backbone and they're great for both shaving soaps and shaving creams. It's amazing how good uh, uh, synthetic brushes are and you can get them in a variety of sizes and a variety of handle styles uh, different types of knots different different qualities of softness just amazing uh, for instance um, you can get you mentioned your Simpsons brush well Simpson makes a t3 Trafalgar synthetic brush this was $40 shipped directly it came to my door for $40 from all the way from the Isle of Man so it was about 30 bucks for the brush 25 for the brush and maybe the balance for shipping, something like that, something like that. Or maybe it was 20 and 20, 20 bucks for the brush and 20 bucks to ship, I don't know. But it was 40 bucks to my door. And this is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful brush. This is a fantastic synthetic knot. Love the handle, it's got the classic Simpson brush handle that I've always wanted. And uh, it really is terrific. So I think that these are really taking over the industry right now. A lot of sellers are getting away from badger brushes and they are going to the synthetic brushes. These are absolutely terrific. So this is a terrific brush. If you're looking for a good synthetic brush and you want a Simpson brush, check out the T3 Trafalgar. This is absolutely fantastic. They also make, uh, what do they make? A T2 and a T1, something like that. This is a 26 millimeter knot. They make another one that's a 24 millimeter knot and then they make another one that's I think it's a 22 millimeter knot. You can check out all of those. But boy, oh boy, I was really impressed with this. When I saw this go on for sale, when I saw this go on sale on their website, I snapped it up. These things sold out in like a day or two and they've proven, they've proved to be very, very popular with wet shavers. So yeah, you got something like the Simpson. I have this one from Vikings Blade, the Fire Mare. This is terrific. It's got a heavy alloy base to it. It's got this beautiful handle. This knot is Wonderful. I absolutely love using this uh, shaving brush and I use it with soaps. I use it with creams. It's fantastic. I like it a lot. Uh, you can get something like the Atomic Rocket from Phoenix Shaving, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, this is terrific. This is based on a classic style of shaving brush from the 1950s. And again, another really nice soft, good performing knot. And this is moderately priced. I think this is just under $20. This is, this is terrific. And again, the, the handle looks beautiful. Feels great in the hand, very substantial. I mean, another terrific, terrific shaving brush. 
Then you have brushes by Yaki. Yaki makes some fantastic shaving brushes. This nut is terrifically uh, soft. This is a 30 millimeter nut. I'll use this for head shaving because uh, I'll lather up here because it gives me such great coverage. And again, it's got a terrific handle to it. Very substantial, wonderful soft knot. Does a great job doing a face lather or lathering up my head. Just loading directly from the puck. Uh, just, you know, love this brush. And of course, you've got the DS Cosmetics. Here's a flat, flat top brush from them. Again, a synthetic brush. So, uh, you know, terrific handle. Nice handle style, great color scheme, flat top knot, something different to use, great for face lathering. Again, another great brush. So, yeah, I, you know, I know, you know, I only have two Badger brushes, and they were fine for, for creams, but I've really moved towards soaps and doing face lathers, and, or, maybe, or maybe building a lather or shaving bowl from the soap as well. And uh, boy, the synthetic brushes are just doing a great job with soaps and creams. And they do a wonderful job with face lathering. And I like them a lot. So check out a, uh, a synthetic brush. And if you like the Simpson brush and the Simpson handle, again, I say get a T3 Trafalgar. I think you're going to like it a lot. And I think it will be a better performer for a face lather and also for lathering, uh, building a lather from a cream. All right. That's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I hope you found some of that information helpful. Uh, you know, I really appreciate everybody sending in your questions and your comments. It's been fantastic. I really enjoy uh, doing this and getting a lot of feedback from folks. Uh, again, you know, please contribute. Comment below. Let me know. Uh, you know, name a great brush. Name a great blade. Uh, let me know if, uh, if you've ever had mold build up on your, uh, on your soap, uh, in your puck, that sort of thing. Uh, that'd be really interesting to hear. Um, and I'm sure the, uh, the folks who ask these questions would, be, uh, would really be grateful to uh, get those additional answers. So thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic trip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Um, I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page for my cartoons and these videos. Check out phoenixshaving.com or phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com. Both addresses get you to the same great online store where you can get some great, great shaving gear. You saw the soaps here. They make some great shaving soaps. Uh, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ready, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Make it a great week.